This is Brett Waltamath of Starwatch Media here at the Stars for Stripes Red Carpet Gala benefiting Peace for Animals and Born Free USA. Bro Waltz Math of Star Watch Media here with Allison Eastwood. Allison, you are, well, first of all, we're here for the Stars, for, pardon me, the Stars for Stripes, Red Carpet, Gala Benefit, and you are the host for us this I evening. Am. I'm, I'm one of the hosts. I mean, I'm co hosting with Katie uh, Cleary Stern. So, uh, Well, can you tell us a little bit about what we have to look forward to this evening and a little bit about the benefit overall? Well, the benefit is specifically benefiting the what's left of the wild tiger population in India. Um, and uh, Born Free and Peace for Animals is trying to help uh, specifically, I think, about the 1,400 tigers that are left in India um, by protecting the habitat. Um, and then as far as tonight, I think you should expect you know, a lot of fun, some good music, some champagne. Uh, there's going to be an auction. I unfortunately have to make a little speech, which makes me a little freaked out, but you know, mm -hmm. I wrote something down, so I'll be jittering with my cheat sheet later. And um, you know, I think it should just be a fun night, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of people that come out to support and, and make some donations, and this is an amazing cause, because once these wild tigers go away, and if this habitat isn't protected, it's pretty much, that's it, it's a done deal, so. No, no, I believe that you've uh, been quoted saying that your love of animals really comes from your father that he really instilled that in you, is that correct? It comes from both of my parents and just growing up in Monterey Peninsula, Carmel area, I mean it's a beautiful natural environment, there's um, wonderful you know wild animals everywhere and I think my parents both are, are you know nature lovers and animal lovers and, and they both uh, instilled that in my brother and I. You're currently uh not only hosting but also executive producing your show on National uh, National Geo, Geo Wild. Yes, yes TV Animal Intervention on Nat Geo Wild. I'm currently hosting and uh, executive. I helped create the show, and uh, it was you know it was just my idea to take what I know from film and television and working in that medium and trying to combine something that would help raise awareness and educate and hopefully entertain the public with. Uh, you know, with some of these kind of crazy scenarios. I mean, a lot of people in the United States have wild animals in their backyard, and you wouldn't know it. Yeah, and can you tell us a little bit about the basic premise of the show, kind of dealing with you finding out people that have these wild animals that are keeping them as pets, and you kind of go and investigate these scenarios? Yeah, I mean, not always, but usually there's some sort of um, controversy or possibly a negative kind of issue surrounding um, these people with their pets. Um, and so my co-host and I, Donald Schultz, uh, travel around the United States and meet different people who have wild animals, whether it's a roadside zoo or they have them just as pets or private owners or their actual rescue facilities that need rescuing themselves. Um, and we travel around and meet these people and see if we can be of service and helpful to them in any way. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, any other upcoming projects for you, either also in uh, film and television or other charity work you're involved in? Yeah, well... Not so much charity, but tonight um, my fiance and I have a show that's premiering tonight on country music television called Chainsaw Gang. Congratulations. I'm myself. <laughs> so it's a tough job. Right. Um, but yeah, his show is, um, his show is uh, premiering tonight and we'll be going for the next 10 weeks. And it, I helped him develop it and sell it. And he's a chainsaw artist, which is kind of a rough and tumbled artistic medium, but um, we had a great time making it and, and it was a lot of fun. So that's going on and I did a movie this summer that I'm sure will be coming out soon and, you know, just working. Now I've heard that uh, you're focused that you're really passionate about more character driven pieces as far as your film work goes. Is that is that true that you prefer character driven roles? Yeah, I mean I definitely always have, you know, whether I'm trying to direct something or act in something, I, I really don't want to do you know, alien invasions and fluff pieces and explosions. I mean, that's great. Um, or, you know, wizards flying around. I really want to do things that, you know, that kind of remind us of our humanity and, uh, you know, and remind us of, of the kind of plight of, of humans and uh, or animals. So I, uh, yeah, I'm always kind of drawn to things that actually have a story. And embrace act. the challenge of those roles. Yeah, and embrace the challenge of just you know of the fact that it's it's you know the emotion of it and the, the you know the drama. Well, I like drama. I love laughing, but I like the drama. I mean, they're laughing or crying and somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Allison, thank you so much for the time. Thank you for being here and supporting. Thank you. Appreciate the time.